Good morning, Calvary, and happy Tuesday. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And uh, I just got to tell you, I love my parents. Now, both my parents are deceased. Uh, my father uh, over 20 years ago, my mom uh, last year. But, uh, uh, well, now, golly, 2019, so it was more than last year. But I love my parents, and I, and I know you love your parents too, whether they're here or, or not. But uh, can I just tell you my parents were flawed? I love them, but they, they had flaws. And I could tell you about their flaws. Uh, uh, some of the ones that really stand out to me are the fact that they were both dedicated workaholics. Uh, and they weren't really great at having fun. Uh, they were great at getting stuff done, but we didn't have a good time doing it. In fact, my entire childhood, I got in trouble for trying to turn work into play. I uh, got accused of goofing off and uh, not taking things seriously enough. I know you find that hard to believe. But here's the thing. As flawed as my parents were, I thank God for my parents. I mean, they were, they were uh, it was great to belong to our family. Uh, I thank God for the way I was raised, for the character that my parents modeled, because they were people of integrity, uh, for the, uh, just the, the faith they introduced me to, because uh, we were going to church. It was never a matter of were we or weren't we. It's just how many times this week are we going to go. And, and here's the thing. I always knew I belonged in my family, even when I didn't want to. I always knew I belonged. Uh, John chapter 1, verses 12 and 13, the Apostle John writes this, and he's writing about Jesus and us. And he says, But to all who did receive Jesus, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children of God. Children who were born not of blood, nor the will of flesh, nor the will of man, but born of God. And that is such a beautiful, powerful, and comforting message to us. I, I just want you to ponder this for a minute. God gave you the right to become his child. The blessing to become his child. When you confess Jesus as Lord, these amazing things happen. First of all, you know, your sins are forgiven. Uh, heaven is guaranteed to you. But the Holy Spirit of God moves into your life and your identity changes because we become children of God. We're adopted by God. We're desired by God. We're wanted by God. We belong to God. Isn't that a beautiful picture? That you're a son or a daughter of God by faith in Jesus Christ. You're his. You're in the family. And, and today, if, if you're following Jesus, then I just want to encourage you to rejoice in your identity as a child of God. I want you to be comforted by the truth that you belong to the family of God. And I want you to, to relish the reality that you're in a family with a perfect father. He's not flawed in any way. He's got the perfect character. He loves you perfectly, and he's working in your life because you're his child. He's going to redeem you, and one day he's going to bring you home so that you can live with him forever. So until that day, uh, I pray that you'd be comforted and encouraged by the fact that if you've confessed Jesus, you're a child of the living God. God bless. Have a beautiful day.